Here you are. Oh, much obliged, Mr. Easton. You don't deserve it, mind. I said ten minutes. You have been exactly eleven and three quarters. So be I have. You should try the weight of them, Mr. East. No, thank you. Now be off with you. Oh, my word, Master East. You're the coolest new boy in schoolhouse. New boy, Matron? I've been here a year. Oh, well, you're proper gentleman's ways. Where's this friend of yours? With the headmaster. And no friend of mine, if you please. You spoke well of him just now. Oh, he ain't a bad scud by no means. But that's first impressions. No man is a friend of mine till I know him. I call that sensible. Ah, here he is now. Matron, let me introduce Brown. Brown, this is Matron. How do you do, ma'am? Welcome to rugby school, Master Brown. Matron is a present help in time of trouble. She keeps your linen clean, bandages your wounds, and doses you with treacle and sulfur if you're the costive kind. So be sure and keep in her good books. I'll do my best, ma'am. Of course he will. Hand over your keys, old chap. Oh, thank you, ma'am, but I've already unlocked my suitcases. Oh, right. Well, I must go now. You're in good hands. The best, I'd say. Cheerio, matron. Goodbye, ma'am. Well, here you are in schoolhouse, same as me. Schoolhouse? The headmaster's house. It means you board in and don't have to sleep out like the other poor devils. Let's see. You need somewhere to sleep. I've never seen such vast beds. There's nothing vast about them. They're a sight too small for a fellow's comfort. You mean we have to share four or five to a bed? Only the dormitory captain has a single one. Of course, if you want a cot to yourself, it'll cost your old man an extra four or five guineas a term. But that's a great deal of money extra. A confounded imposition. But I'm with you all the way, Brown. The trouble with public schools is they're too public. Oh, one can put up with inconveniences like bullying and fagging. But there are times when a fellow really needs to be on his own. It doesn't happen here. Not even at night. The only privacy one can hope for is in one's study. You have studies to yourselves? <laughs> Not quite. It means sharing with somebody else. But it's better than nothing. There are only four of us in this one. And I'd hope to keep it that way. But since our fathers are friends, I suppose I'm bound to make the sacrifice. That's awfully decent of you, East. Well, well, well. H Hello, Flashman. If it isn't East and his new friend, Brown. Where do you come from, Brown? Uffington in Berkshire. Berkshire? Ah, yes. I believe it's a county well known for breeding swine. And why have you been sent to rugby school? T to complete my education. T to complete my education? <laughs> How very ambitious of you. Why do you say that? Because, Brown, rugby is a school for gentlemen. Then what are you doing here? So we're insolent little swine, are we? <laughs> listen to him grunting east. And you, listen to me. Rugby's a great school, but it can't perform miracles like turning sow's ears into silk purses. The best we can hope to do for little swine like you is to teach you to lose your dirty habits and make you house trained. And believe me, Brown, we've ways of doing it. Deuced unpleasant ways, as you're going to discover. East, old chap. I'd watch my step if I were you. How do you mean, Flashman? Up to you, of course. But you chum up with him. You get the same treatment. Understood? Any time, Flashman. Are you all right? Yes. He took me by surprise, that's all. Took the wind out of my sails. He hit you low. But that's typical. He's the worst bully in the school. Still, it's confoundedly odd. What is? Well, I've often seen him pick on new boys before, but the way he started on you, as though he bore some special grudge. I think perhaps he does. Oh? I may tell you sometime. Look here, Brown. I suppose you feel I didn't stick up for you then. I have never heard such rot. Well, if you'd been in my position... I wouldn't have lifted a finger. Oh, the two of us might have tackled him together. 
But once he put pay to me, neither of us could have tackled him single-handed. No. I suppose you're right. It's common sense. You're a good scud. Damned if you ain't. Come on, I'll show you my study. Then let's go and get some grub. <laughs> <laughs> 